Finally, folks, when you go find a country food place to eat, you look around and say, work trucks like this right here is usually pretty good. Today, we're going to find out about BJ's. Mm-mm, good. Hey, y'all, welcome. I don't look like no Mr. Drumstick to me. Country fried steak with, uh... All right, we're here with the lunch bunch at BJ's uh, Country Cooking, and, uh, and I'm up first, and I gotta tell you, I must have picked probably the best three things they had on the menu. I got the vegetable place, I got the mac and cheese, the turnip greens, and the cabbage. And for me, for my for my taste buds, that was really really good uh, food. The turnip greens were really excellent, and uh, and so was the cabbage. And the mac and cheese was really cheesy, so I, I've got to give it, from a food point of view, I'll give it a 9. Now, ambiance, there's nothing here. It's just, just sit down, and plastic plates, and styrofoam cups, so it's not a place you really want to hang out for a meal. Uh, the food value is terrific. It's uh, only $4.24 for uh, the vegetable plate, so for about 5 bucks, I'm, I'm walking out of here with a full stomach, so I give, I give it an average of about... Eight. I want to give it an average of an eight because of, of the uh, ambiance not being so great. Well, Thursday here on the Lunch Bunch, BJ's Country Cooking. Um, I had the uh, meat in two. Thanks, Big D. I appreciate that. I had the country fried steak, the black eyed peas, and the uh, macaroni and cheese. The black eyed peas and the macaroni and cheese pretty good. Country fried steak, I don't have a whole lot to complain about. Tea was excellent. Corn biscuit was good. The only complaint I have about the corn place, biscuit. Corn biscuit, corn bread, whatever. I'm a Yankee, so that's what it is. The only complaint I have is that the pepper shaker was empty. We had to go elsewhere to find pepper. You always need to make sure that your patrons are happy, and a full salt and pepper shaker is crucial. Overall, crucial. I give it a. I'm going to give it an eight. Thursday lunch bunch uh, guest review here from the studio, part-time lunch bunch uh, member. Uh, we are at BJ's Country Cooking, and I frankly was pretty impressed. Uh, walking up, I wasn't so impressed because uh, it ain't a real pretty place, and the ambiance is nothing to talk about. But the food is good, and for five dollars and fifty cents, including tax, uh, I got some really good meatloaf, very flavorful. Uh, I believe it was uh, probably. Um, uh, Homemade, uh, you know, with mushrooms and, and, and the stuff you'd probably have at home. Uh, the corn was canned corn, but it was good. And the mashed potatoes were excellent. They uh, they tasted like they were fresh made. That was trash. Uh, so, overall, the food very, very good. Good value for the money, certainly. Uh, I would point out that uh, uh, there were a little, little problems here and there, like no, no top on the crystal hot sauce, which leaves you a little nervous about, you know, cleanliness and that sort of thing. But... Minor issues. Overall, I'd give it an eight. That's my my review for the day. You know, contrary, I got a little corn there on my teeth. But contrary to popular opinion, I'm not sold on this place. To me, this is nothing more than glorified school lunchroom food. I mean, look at here. This is John's country fried steak, which I also had. All it is is fried. You know, they take this and they fry it in a fryer, throw it out there. Just like you had when you was in high school or middle school, or elementary school, mystery meat is what we used to term it back then. They throw a little gravy over it. Stu already said it. Canned corn, mashed potatoes, best thing on the plate. Green beans is hard to mash up. Green beans also worries me a little bit. Stu pointed out that the hot sauce had no top, but the pepper sauce has no top, and all the peppers are white. And then that one over there is getting brown. Also, I do not like eating off the paper plates. Paper plates make it rough. I mean, that's just me. You could have went up the street, John Boys, another two miles, another three, four, five miles maybe, Marietta, and had all you could eat. So the value is five fifty. It is what it is. I mean, you know, um, overall, I mean, I, 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 I thought about a six, but then you look around the restaurant and the ambiance, and I promise you I'm a size 40 waist, okay? They ain't a woman in here less than a size 16 or an 18. Trust me on that. They had this one woman in here. We couldn't get Stu with the sunlight. We could have put her as a backdrop. And, and I mean, serious, folks. Seriously, if they weighed everybody in this room and this place didn't have a good foundation, it would fall in. So, hey, that's saying something. Somebody likes good, cheap food. So, hey, overall, I'm going to give it a five and a half. So, because it costs 550, I give it 550. 
And uh, you know a place, there's a sanitation department working here. Good. That's good to see them. Okay. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, it was my idea for a meet and three, and so that's what we did today. I had a meet and two. It wasn't exactly a meet and three. I had a uh, country fried steak, mashed potatoes, and uh, turnip greens. Turnip greens, best thing on the, on the, on the plate. I believe uh, I agree with Big D that the country fried steak uh, is just as good as uh, something you get out of a Swanson frozen dinner. But uh, for $5.50 and all you can drink sweet tea out of a styrofoam cup, it's a do-over for me. I'm going to give it a 7 on the Lunch Bunch Review.